required in the future. Now, let me pick up both what Dean Lockhart and Jackie Bailey raised about the issue of how we pay for it, because I think Fraser of Allender is right that we probably need to spend something like £7 billion over the next 12 months in Scotland, in addition to the existing budgets, if we are going to be able to recover from the post-COVID economic crisis. The report itself in page three starts to address that very issue of where can we get the money. It says there needs to be a plan to unlock financial borrowing at the exceptionally low prevailing long-term interest rates. I agree with that. But what should that plan be? In my view, there is only one plan that's possible, and that is for the Scottish Government as well as all the other devolved governments in the UK to be able to borrow directly the money needed for economic recovery directly from the Bank of England on exactly the same terms and conditions as the UK government is doing. Indeed, the governor of the bank said yesterday his job in the last few months has, to be, has been to rescue the UK government from going bankrupt. And therefore, we, uh, the Bank of England isn't just supposed to be of England and for England, it's supposed to be for the rest of the United Kingdom as well. And now's an opportunity for the UK government to give the powers for the Scottish government to have the same borrowing power, paying no interest like the UK government, no timescale for repayment like the UK government, and the power to write off any loans from the Bank of England like the UK government has already done on the money borrowed for the recession. So that is where the money should come from. £7 billion is less than 1% of the £745 billion the UK government has got from the Bank of England in the last three months. So, presiding officer, Throw the fiscal framework out the window. It is no longer fit for purpose and give us some real short-term powers that we can use to save the Scottish economy. Now